Hello and welcome back to part 26 of the Ocarina of Time playthrough. Oh god, look at how long this video is. <laughs> oh man. Yep, YouTube took away my time limit, so... Sweet. That wasn't that nice of them. Why are they harassing that tree? Um... Maybe they don't like trees? Oh sorry, harassment. Er. Can't say that word anymore. Oh, look, an old man. Let's push him over. <laughs> it's like cow tipping, except with old men. <laughs> with old men. <laughs> old man tipping. Mm -hmm. Oh, not you again. The Pocket Cuckoo. Sounds like an amazing new video game for the Game Boy. <laughs> Pocket Cuckoos. This one's a blue type cuckoo. Totally not a knockoff. It's not entirely happy right now, but you see, <laughs> the, thi the thing is, it's still in its egg when you receive it, so. What? <laughs> it's not happy right now, though. That may be because just, it doesn't exist yet. I can just sense that this is not a happy creature. <sighs> what? You borrowed a pocket egg. Complimentary with sticks. Mmm, time to mix me some omelets. Oh god. Pocket omelets. Oh god, do you realize how terrifying that would be? Every time you crack what? open an egg, you hear the shriek of some animal that was to be. I'm never eating an omelet again, thanks for that. It, I freaking who, who love. Wants, who wants breakfast? <laughs> And I freaking love omelets. Way. You have ruined omelets for me. It's because of your fault you said it first. I hate you. Ooh, let's read his diary. <laughs> this place isn't creepy at all. Yeah. Stretching, shrinking, keepsake. No. I'm waiting for you. Well, this stretching, shrinking thing has been hyped up long enough. Let's go find out what it is. Mm. Ooh. Also, come on, piece of heart. Oh. Collected three pieces. We just need one more, and we'll have a new heart. You've collected a piece of heart, the Calverdic Addery. <laughs> also, you can tell which one is Dampe's grave because it has flowers on it when it didn't previously when you were a child. Mm -hmm. So. Imagine if you actually were to collect real pieces of a heart, like every single time you collect something, it's just like, Hey look, here's a caldotic artery. Oh my god. It's a dead man. Dead men tell no tales. Dead men race races, though. Apparently. He's chucking fire, for God's sake. Yeah. Um, he says it's a race, but it's really, you just have to keep up with him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, if you fall behind, there are doors along the way that will... Ow. There are doors along the way that he'll pass through, and they'll shut if you take too long to get through them. And if they shut, you'll fail, get sent back to the start, and you'll lose, like, a quarter heart, I believe. Yeah, man. Yeah. If you take a wrong turn, you're pretty much guaranteed to fail. Unless yeah. you're and really... Yeah, and you don't want to be left alone down here. Yeah, because you can hear those re-deads moaning in the distance. Yeah. Now first oh, time Oh god. Now first time round, you just have to complete the stage. That's all you have to do and you get the treasure. If you can complete it in under a minute though, you'll get a piece of heart. And that's pretty hard to do. I can imagine. You basically need to roll the entire time and rolling's tricky. Mhm. Mm but I off-screen that. You're very quick to keep up with me. That's cuz you're floating. Yeah, he basically just floats over the pit in the last area. <laughs> Doesn't that sound cool? This guy has a lot of cool things, apparently. Mm -hmm. Be careful of the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, he leaves by exploding. Thanks. That's creepy. <laughs> oh... Look what I got! 
You got something that should kill people. Yes. The hookshot. You can use it to drag distant items towards you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. I wish this actually existed. Yeah, this this would just be like way cool. It's like a Batman gadget. <laughs> it is it is a Batman. <laughs> we are now Batlink. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Fifty five seconds. <laughs> Editing! Yes, because you really want to see me fail over and over and over again to do that? No, I'm good. Yeah, so... Maximum life energy increased. You, you got and, uh, pulmonary. You normally have the there pulmonary would be a, artery. Normally there would be a time block in this little room, you just remove them by playing the song of time. It's that easy. And you're happy. Yep. Can we freak him out now? Uh, oh. God. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> you. Hey man, you <laughs> mad? Do you hate me? You got, you got one too. What the you hate? must be exactly the same. That doesn't mean can't here. Messed up the windmill. Hey, that sounds. Just like the song you're playing, sir. Okay, I know that it's supposed to be a cool moment because you just learned a new song and everything, but it kind of kills the moment when you're just staring at this man who's jerking up and down with a box. I mean, yeah, it's just <laughs> my this is awkward. You are in the Saga Storms. You can now break windmills everywhere. Everywhere. That, that actually That's actually a gimmick later on. Yeah. <laughs> How do we defeat Ganondorf? Oh, yeah. there's a windmill right there. <laughs> Does this have any significance? Let's try. <laughs> Kick him into the blades. So yeah, you can also use the uh, hook shot on these roofs. Just uh, jump from roof to roof, kind of. The mountain's on fire. Yes. That is a pretty hardcore mountain. Oh, no. On. No. Come on. Yes. Yeah, just talk to this guy, and you get a piece what? of. What? <laughs> I like looking at the mountain. It's on fire. Did you notice? Cheer. Hello, person oh. I've never met. Have this. <laughs> it's part of my own. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> this looks like the aorta. <laughs> Pulmonary artery. How fascinating. <laughs> And of course, there's one more skull tool, it's on top of Impa's house. But, um, how are we going to get there? That is the question. Yeah. And then we're gonna go straight to Day, because then the, uh, pocket cuckoo hatches. Oh, good. oh yes. And that quest <laughs> actually comes to an end here. I forgot all about that little thingy. Yes. Well, uh, you know, if it's not a ghost type, I don't care about it. Good point. This gets yeah, <laughs> this gets so much easier with a long shot. Mm-hmm. But that's not for a while yet. Nope. Dead. S screw hitting it with other things. <laughs> you got a token. Oh, shut up, Navi. But, um, yeah, the uh, hook shot one kills those things, so mm -hmm. it's pretty handy. Yeah. It also one kills regular Skulltulos no matter where you hit them. Right. So, hook shot's actually a pretty handy little device. Oh, it, oh yeah, oh yeah, it is. It's just, you know, yeah. I kind of wish it was a real thing. Yeah, you know, if it was a real although, thing, I would use it for. I, I would use it for what? <laughs> I would use it for like pointless things like um, crossing a hallway. Just because I, I can. 
I can imagine that going really wrong, though. Well, maybe. <laughs> I could. I mean, let's just picture that for a second. Oh, that was close. Yeah. But yeah, here's another piece of heart. Already got two more pieces. But, um... I would not like to save. Oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> that was, that was a bit that was a bit too close for comfort. Oh yes. This was like Indiana Jones, but in reverse. <laughs> now I chase the rock. <laughs> Look, a chicken is hatching from your pocket. It's the miracle of life. <laughs> the circle of life. Uh, Lord, thank you for this chicken. We will put it to good use. I am quite hungry. Chicken. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> right, just head on in here. Hmm, doesn't this look familiar? Alright, get up, Mario. Incarnation! You're standing oh. on top of a bed, man. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah. So, um, if you actually wake him up before you uh, save the ranch, then he just, like, stays there until you save the ranch. <laughs> I'm not going back there. Yeah, yeah Ingo's. Luigi's there. <laughs> He's Luigi's not very... being a prick, man. Heck no. Luigi's dressed up like a clown. It looks happy. I can tell because... Well, I can tell. It, it isn't dead, therefore it is happy. Normally I'm allergic to chickens, but this one's okay. <laughs> Kojiro. Uh, what? Can I... Do you want to keep him? Oh, that's... It's a blue pocket chicken! That's not healthy. I mean, that... Why, because the chicken's blue? Well, you, that can't be healthy. What color are the eggs? Um... Green! Well, <laughs> oh, Easter um... eggs. Hmm. Screw, the... <laughs> Screw the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I've got a blue chicken, man. What? I've got Kojiro! <laughs> Ze blue chicken! Zawarudo. <laughs> oh, that... references. That... That's what happens when it happens to a chicken. It turns blue. It turns blue. <laughs> ah, yes. Horseback. So much faster than not horseback. Rolling? Yes. It's also less annoying because it's not. Uh, How'd you get those coconuts? This is a temperate <laughs> zone. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you a pig swallow couldn't carry that? Yeah, let's go back to your home. Uh -oh. Let's see how much has really changed. Oh, I'm sure it's just as peaceful and boring as ever, and I'm sure Mido's still a gigantic jerk. <laughs> Alright, where's Mido? Gonna... Oh my god! Wow! No! No! Dead. Of course, give me Deku Sticks. I can't use Deku Sticks. Die. See, it's just that easy. Ruthless. It's so easy. But yeah, Kokiri Forest is now covered in monsters. You'll find things like Octoroks and tektites and levers too. With your help, our hero pulls through. Oh, sure. Doesn't seem to have happened to Lost Woods, though. Shut up, blue chicken. Oh my god. It's the... Uh. person. What? What? Well, normally only a nice guy like me, who calls people disgusting. You, you must be the nice guy. <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop? God, you are such a dick. 
I hate everyone except myself. Go deliver this to the old shrew. Yeah, except now he's like, dude, you rule. <laughs> Make her eat the mushroom. So, uh, yeah, now we've got to get back to a Kakariko village within three minutes. Oh, what? Yep. Are you serious? Yep. Well, that's a bullcrap. Uh, well, Thank well. you, Loss of Physics, though, in time for not correctly working. So, um, hmm. what normally would take a person, like, a day and a half to get there, takes Link, <laughs> what, three minutes? Uh, yeah. Link's really fast. Yes, he is. He has no time to waste. Go oh, faster, horsey. Eat carrots. <laughs> Eat them! Because for some reason this makes you faster. Yeah. <laughs> Can't swim across, must go across the bridge. Yes. Can't jump across either. You can't go over it, you can't go under it, and you can't even go through it. Now go take the bridge. Alright. And of course, Navi's been trying to bug us this entire time, but we're ignoring her because... Well, of course. We don't care about... Not really, no. We don't take kindly to your tap around here. Why are they still making fun of the retarded tree? <laughs> it's top-heavy. <laughs> if I ever see a tree like that, all I'll, all I'll do is just, like, cackle and be happy. Yeah. It's the body like a tree. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, shut up, Shut Navi. up, Navi. No one likes you. No one cares, Navi. Nobody. I guarantee it. Tight roping power. Go now! So, and just up in there. Well, this wasn't hard to get to at all. Oh, no. Hi. Yeah. Oh, come on. Take my stupid mushroom. That bum. Yes. She looks creepy. Do you want to give it to me now? No. Huh. What? If you see that fool, give this to him. I've ever produced. It will not work on a monster. You have poo in wrapping. Excellent. We could have just chopped off the stalk and put it in cloth. That's all we had to do. You poor bastard. Alright, this one doesn't have a time limit, so... Link could take the most convoluted route he wanted to, just to spite the other guy. I hope someone just curses those two men for making fun of that tree. <laughs> you will pay! <sighs> the green party just, like, shows up. You make fun of that tree? Mm-hmm. That tree gives you life. Right, back to the forest. <laughs> and now back to the goddamn forest. Do do. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, there is a point to this whole trading game. I'm sure there is. It's just so tedious. Yeah, but you know, once you. Uh, finish it up, then it's like the thing you get is worth all the time and trouble. Mm -hmm. And you can actually finish it before you enter the forest temple, but um, I decide not to. Good point. Because <laughs> that would really slow things down. And besides we'll, you... just, we'll just leave the horse out here to deal with the zombies on our own. Yeah. Be fine. Ah, well, that's the thing. There are no more zombies in future Hyrule, apparently. Alright. Yeah, so... Uh, for whatever reason. Either they were all just, like, attacking Ganondorf while he was crossing Hyrule Field and he just got tired of it and destroyed them all, or... They just kind of said, eh, 
Oh, oh screw it, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of having my head chopped off by that kid. Oh. Well, hi. Okay. Okay. Oh, a stall foss. He he. <laughs> yes, this is clearly a laughing matter. Young punk guy. <laughs> I love the descriptions in this game. So. Well, that was creepy. What? What does this thing do? Um. Find out later. Oh. Well, that was certainly creepy. I didn't know Link's friends were so messed up. Dude, have you seen them? They're tiny, freakish. Oh god! What the hell? <laughs> oh man! I promised her that I wouldn't let anyone go through here. Oh, god. does he really have to be a prick about it? Yes. Uh. It's like a slap to the face, but with music. Wait a minute, his fairy's green now. Does does that mean he's slightly... No, that can't be possible. That is kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Well, maybe it's because he got older or something, but yeah. I realized, ha, that's impossible. Maybe green fairies are like older fairies. Could be. Very suffering from old age. Navi just flew directly into your head. <laughs> Let's find out what he's thinking. Oh, oh god. You know what that sounds like? Um, no I don't. It sounds like one of those like Halloween toys that when you walk by them they start like flashing and like ju like jiggling from side to side. They usually like a ghost or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, shoot that first person thing doesn't work. I'm looking for the um, hole here. Of course. Yeah. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Found it. Either this was it. This was it. Or this it. is something completely different. Hmm. So now when I play the uh, sun song, I should end up back here. Because uh, the thing is, there's a sculpture on top of that. Um, on top of that ridge that the um, mm -hmm. magic plant takes you to. Yeah. So, that's what I was doing. There's something I never really did understand. Why is it that the, oh no. That didn't work, come on. Would it have worked if you stayed in the hole? Um, no, because it would have just been like, hmm, inside, not gonna work, nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> For whatever reason, yeah. time is not affected on the outside world. But, um, you are about to say something. I was? Yeah. Oh god. Oh well. Oh man, I'll come back to it later. <laughs> Meanwhile, trivia! Um, the, um, Sun Song in Ocarina of Time. And the uh, so and the uh, song of passing in Wind Waker, same tune. Oh, oh, I remember what it was that I was yeah. gonna say. Why is it that the Sun Song always transport you back to the, like the last door you open? Um, wouldn't cause... it make more logical sense if you were to stay in the exact same place, but then like maybe like get up as if you were sleeping? Lazy programming. Yeah, good point. At the time, I'm sure they really yeah. didn't think of that. They prob they probably just like reload the um data just that day so that's why mm -hmm. it probably starts at the start good point oh god are the creepy things are the creepy big people here now the uh oh. moblins yeah oh my god hello <laughs> but um <laughs> they go. stupid pig person they go down really easily Do, 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 do. This music is totally inappropriate for what's going on. This is basically Metal Gear. Really? Oh God! It's going to... <laughs> if they see you, they charge you. Yep. And they charge you fast. 
Wasn't the Moblin like uh, the main villain in the f in the first ever Legend of Zelda game? You mean like the main, you know, Mook? Yeah, I would of? say so. Yeah, yeah. Funny how they've been. Now, th is this? Would you say that this is kind of like a cameo now? Um, I don't know. I mean, because they're not like they're not like a huge villain. Yeah, in this game, they're just like really tiny bit roles. They don't even like show up in Majora's Mask, but in Wind Waker, no. In Wind Waker, they're pretty common. Yeah, they're pretty common, and I know that in uh, uh, Skyward Sword, they've they've had a reboot. They don't look the same, but apparently they're called Moblins still. Cool. Yeah, they look more like pigs, which is what they are. Yes. They're like, and he, right here, it's like a cross between a pig and a bulldog. <laughs> A bull pig. Oh god. Oh. Yep. I hear something crunchy. That means there's a gold school true love. Somewhere. Up oh, now, just careful because there's another moblin right around the corner. There he is. Mm -hmm. But uh, we don't care about him. And again, that fairy fountain is still there, so if you need yep. any fairies, just. Go there. Yep. Ah, uh, hookshot. So awesome. <laughs> you know, are we gonna leave him alone, or are we actually gonna shoot him in the head? <laughs> um, I think we're gonna leave him alone. <laughs> okay, people, the next moblin you're about to see is enormous, and gave me nightmares when I was a child. Yeah, I used to be pretty good at dodging his, uh, at dodging those shockwaves, but for some reason it's just become harder to do. It's like, it's like the Shredder, but pig form. It's creepy looking. <laughs> Turtles. Stupid pig person can't turn around. <laughs> yeah. But see, the reason it gave me nightmares is because the TV that I used, that I uh, first played this game on was really dark, so all I saw were these shockwaves coming out of nowhere in this really weird sounding... <gasps> yeah. Only when I got closer, I realized, oh my god, it's a giant monster thingy. Yeah, this was made back when TVs were crap, so... Exactly. Which kind of added to the atmosphere. My friend is gone. Oh, Jesus! Are you my friend? <laughs> I can be. <laughs> Always cruel. No one can change it, except for you, Link. You're special. Uh, except for you. You, however, are completely different. You're special. So yeah, you learned the uh, first warp song, the minuet to the forest. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's the one you f always forget because you never ever need it. Ever. But for me, that still stands out as like my favorite just tune in general. I always liked the uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, poo! I always liked the uh, bullet. <laughs> It's like when you get it wrong, you get warped somewhere completely different. <laughs> you just, you just half of you is in Gerudo Valley, and half of you is like ended up on the like up on the top of Hyrule Castle. Like, what the hell happened? Looks like you just got splinched. Just remember, <laughs> destination, determination, deliberation. Mhm. Mm That's an inside joke, people, and it's also a reference. I don't need warp songs. All I need are Deku Nuts. Watch out! She turned into a floaty caterpillar yeah. thingy. He likes to like, yeah, I wish I could do that. <laughs> why, why, can, why can that person do that? Right. Anyway, that's the end of this part. We'll see you next time for the Forest Temple. Forest Temple of Doom.